you're going to do what I'm going to give more, right? And I'm going to sacrifice something. And sometimes it's just sacrificing the lifting of my hands, the lifting Amen. of my voice, yes, or sir. sacrificing even if I'm not feeling 100%, That's but right. I'm still going to be here Amen. giving God all Amen. the praise and all the glory and honor. The, the sacrifice means it takes something. It takes something more than just me getting up and everything just being um, calm, cool, and collected. Yeah. But, I, but I'm going to press through, and I'm going to keep doing what I know he called me to do. Amen. Um, and we all, each and every one of us has a calling. Yes, sir. Um, we know that God has literally set us apart to do things specifically mm. in this earth realm because he know that there was a purpose for each and every one of us. Amen. And that purpose Amen. is not just for us and to have, have our life and live it more abundantly, but to be a representation yes. of what God means to love the world. Amen. Um, to show up in people's lives, to show up every day yes. is a sacrifice. Yes. To show up and Thank bringing you your best self is a sacrifice. Because yes. I don't know about you, but I could definitely show up in a way that's not necessarily my best self. Right. It might be another version of Amen. you. We all see the other versions of Kiana, right? Amen. But she ain't always, I, she's not always at her best self. But I know that when I press my, my way through and show up the way God wants me to show up in, right. in that situation, and that also is considered a sacrifice. Right. Amen. Um, Amen. I'm glad to be here. Amen. I'm excited Amen. to be able to teach again. Um, Pastor obviously is out of, out of town and doing his thing like he's supposed to be doing and getting a break when he's supposed to be getting Amen. his break. Um, and I'm, I'm honored that he trusts me enough to yeah. be able to do that and to step away. Um, I definitely have something for y'all this morning. Um, it has been... Um, What's it called? Cooking. We've been baking it in the oven all week. <laughs> but we've been we, it's been in the crock pot for a, for a little while, probably a couple of weeks now. Um, and I'm I'm just thankful to be able to be here to share what God has for every for each of us, including myself. <clears throat> so, with that being said, let's go ahead and pray. The praise team, thank you so much for yeah. showing up and doing this. to give or to, to help and some of us have that gifting Amen. and those of us who have it operate in it flawlessly and effortlessly and I don't want you to ever think that it is unappreciated um, or that it is overlooked because if nothing else God sees what you do every day by showing up and doing what you're supposed to be doing um, the job is to do what we're called to do yes. my job isn't to do what Ernie is called to do right. I'm not supposed to do what uh, Mama Cat is called right. to do. I'm not necessarily right. supposed to do what Quentin is supposed to do, right? right? But I'm supposed to do what God calls me. Amen. Amen. And right. when we can learn to be okay with what he has called us to do individually versus looking at what someone else may be doing and say, well, why, why am I not able to do what they're doing? Right. Because you weren't called to do that specifically. Yes. You know, some of us have more gifting in certain areas, and God gives us more grace in certain areas to be able to follow through and show up the way God wants us, the way God wants us to show up, because He's gifted us in those certain areas to be able to see certain things, to be able to speak into people's lives, because we have already probably experienced something right. similar. And that way we can actually share our testimony, and that's how people, the Bible says that we overcome by the word of our testimony. Amen. And we're able to share, and we're able to push past um, prideful thinking or prideful act where I don't want to share my story or my testimony because I don't want people to know all my business. And not saying we want to be in here oversharing everything, but certain things... God's going to give you an opportunity to share what right. you've been through Amen. because that is what's going to help bring someone else over to the other side. Yeah. Um, just like someone did it for us. And I say it probably every single time, and I'll probably be saying it, saying it until Jesus comes. Um, but that's just where my heart is, I know, and I know that. Um, that it, that we are not here just for us. We were not put here on this planet just for us, but we were put here on this planet to be able to influence others, Amen. to show up the way God Amen. wants us to That's show right. up. Right. And the main way God wants us to show up is really in his love. Um, Amen. 
And we've been, like I said, this has kind of been a crock pot type lesson that has been brewing for a while just to get us to this place of talking about love. So let's go ahead and pray, even though I know I already have this morning, but let's go ahead and do it again. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to be here in front of your people once again. I do not take it lightly. I do not. I take it and I, and I know that it is an honor and a privilege to be able to speak into others' lives, including my own life. Father, I thank you right now for clarity of speech and boldness of speech. We are so grateful to be in your presence with people with, who are like-hearted and like-minded, Jesus. Father, I thank you right now for every soul that is, that is able to hear this lesson this morning. I thank you for them taking something away that they can apply yeah. to their lives every single day. Father, I thank you right now for you just doing all that you have called us to do. Father, I thank you for you doing and showing up in our lives the way that you want to show up in our lives, God. Father, I thank you right now for you are a wonderful God, a loving, yes, kind Father. We love you so much, Jesus. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy that's new every single morning. Yeah. Father, I thank you right now for all of these things. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and start off with the scripture that I love most, um, which is chapter 8 of Romans. Thank you, Lord. Chapter 8 of Romans. Amen. We're going to read it in the Amplified Version. <clears throat> and we're going to start at verse 28, which is my all-time favorite scripture. I think I'll probably be doing that too, like I said. <laughs> God comes <laughs> home. <laughs> So nothing can separate us from God's love. We are assured and know that God being a partner in their labor, that all things work together and are fitting into a plan for good to and for those who love God and are called according to his design and purpose. How many of us love God this morning? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now, we all say we love God and we... We know it's easy for us to say it, but how will we probably demonstrate our love? And, and the Bible says that in order for us to show how much we love God is to, to show up and keep his commandments and what Amen. he's told us to do. Amen. So the best way for us to demonstrate how much we love God is to, is to do what basically what his word says. Right. Not saying we do it perfectly every day, but if we show up with the intention, right, of acting or walking out those principles that it says in the word of God, that is how we show God how much we love him. Amen. Amen. Um, 29, for those who he foreknew, <coughs> of whom he was aware and loved beforehand, which means he loved us when? Beforehand. Which means, did we love God first or did he love us first? Yeah. Isn't that something? Amen. For him to love us before Amen. we even got to know our own Amen. selves, he Amen. loved Amen. us. Which is significant. Yeah. Um, to take time to get to know you, to know you beforehand, even before mommy and daddy knew us, right? Whoever those sperm and egg donors were, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> he loved us first. Yes. And for him to love us first is important and significant, just like how Pastor has been talking about, about how he chose us, right? Yeah. And if he chose us first and he loved us first, that means he initiated. Yeah. And if he initiated love with us, then that means it is an easy thing to know. Sorry, it is a comfort to know that someone loves us. Amen. Amen. Especially in an unlovable world. Amen. Amen. Especially in a world where you may not always feel seen or heard or appreciated. Mm -hmm. To know that God loves us first yeah. is significant. Yes, yeah. Yeah. For those whom he foreknow, knew of whom he was aware and loved beforehand, he also destined from the beginning, foreordaining them to be molded into the image of his son and share inwardly his likeness, that he might become the firstborn among many brethren. And those whom he, thus he foreordained, he also called, there it is again, and those whom he called, he also justified, acquitted and made righteous, putting them into right standing with himself. And those whom he justified, he also glorified, raising them to a heavenly dignity and condition or state of being. 31. 
What then shall we say to all of this? For if God is for us, who can be against us? Yes. Who Amen. can be our foe if God is on our side? Right. Amen. Amen. He, who, he who did not not with, sorry who did not withhold or spare even <clears throat> his own son, but gave him up for us all. He not also he not also with him freely and graciously give us all other things. Who shall bring any charge against us? How, how, now listen, we know people will bring things yeah. to our attention. Right. Mm -hmm. Earlier I mentioned that I know I haven't always showed up as my best self. <laughs> so I know <laughs> the other versions of myself have been, right? I know the crazy.com Kiana. I know the um, overreacting Kiana. Mm -hmm. I know the throw stuff across the room Kiana and pull down the curtains Kiana. I've seen those versions and have lived those versions out, right? And I, and I mean, if you sit here pointing fingers at me, that sorry, you could do some self-reflection, right? <laughs> because I know that I have not always been who I am today. I'm thankful for the fact that God is always working in me, right? To, to bring me closer to his likeness because I know that who I was created to be is who I am always evolving to become. Right. And that is and that is a promise that I am so thankful for that I can tap into because I know that even though I might not be what I all that I want to be right now, I know that I'm a good work in progress. Amen. Amen. And being a good work in progress it says that God God will continue to do that good work in you until the end, right? Until until God comes back. So we know that we're not necessarily where we want to be but it may fully manifest it but i know that i'm always growing from glory to glory to glory Amen. Amen. and so who's going to bring any charge against god's elect who's god's elect me right mm -hmm. say I am. I am i'm god's elect god who justifies he puts into right relationship to himself who shall come forward and accuse or impeach those whom God has chosen? If he's chosen me, who's going to come forward and tell me that God has not chosen me? Right. Right. And you know sometimes people come in, and come in here acting like, well, who do you think you are? Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you who do you think you are to think that you're able to do these things and go and say these things and go there or, or, or be able to step into everything God has created you to be? People will call you an imposter. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. They will literally think that for whatever reason you are not qualified but according to the word of god you have been qualified and justified to do everything that he has called you to do so somebody say i'm qualified, I'm qualified. somebody say i'm justified. I'm justified somebody said i've been called, I've been called. and i've been chosen so when you think about those things, then that means anybody who comes up against you or has something negative to say, then the, 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 that means the appropriate response to be should be, well, who are you? Right. Yes. Exactly. Amen. Amen. But how many know it isn't always the first thing that we think? Sometimes right. we begin to question our own gifting yep. and our right. own calling. Right. And what right. we've already been created and designed and gifted to do and talented right. to do. Yes. We question the fact that God put us in those places. We question, do I deserve this job? Do I deserve this promotion? We question, do I deserve this husband? Do I deserve this wife? Do I deserve these children? Do I deserve the life that God has for me right. based on past experiences? Right. So when we say somebody wants to come up and accuse us of not being worthy and not being valid or not being qualified to do all that he has called us to do, those are real attacks of the enemy. But our job is to remember what the word of God says. And what the word of God says is I have been qualified. Yes. Yes. Somebody say I'm qualified. I'm qualified. I'm qualified. I'm qualified. Yeah, I'm qualified. Amen. Who shall come forward and accuse or impeach those God has chosen? Will God who acquit who acquits <coughs> us? Who is there to be who is there to condemn us? Now condemnation, we know, is a thing. And sometimes the condemnation comes from the fact that we know we didn't do everything that we know we were supposed to do. Right. And we often will be like, well, if I didn't do it exactly the way that it was supposed to be done, then maybe I'm not qualified. Right. But how many know that's another trick of the enemy? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. even beforehand, he already predestined beforehand that I'm yeah. already qualified. That means even in my mess, okay. I'm already qualified. That means even if I'm broke, busted, and disgusted, I'm still qualified. That means even if I'm fighting low self-esteem, even if I'm fighting not being worthy, even if I'm fighting, oh my gosh, how did I make this mistake again? I'm still qualified. I'm still qualified. Because 
right. again, if I'm going to show God how much I love him, that means i got to believe and act yes, on what sir. the word of God That's says, right. which means That's I have right. to believe that I'm qualified. Amen. And that I've been justified. And I have been declared Amen. righteous. I don't care how many mistakes I've made. Right. If God got a trillion ways to make something happen, and that means if I mess up a trillion ways, he can make a trillion and one on, ways to bring God out of And when I say it, I'm saying it with boldness. Yeah. I'm not saying it like I'm like I'm not right. worthy. I'm saying right. it because I know who I am. Right. 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 Yes. I know yes. who I am. Yes. I know who I've been created to be yes. beforehand. I don't care what it looks like. Right. I don't care what it feels like. I know I've been qualified. Right. Right. Amen. I've been qualified to be a good mother. I've been qualified to be a good wife. I've been qualified to be a good friend. I've been qualified to be a good daughter. I've been qualified to be a good auntie. I've been qualified. Qualified. Beforehand. That's why it says, who, 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 who? Say something. Who? Amen. Who? It's going to stand up here and say, for whatever reason, you don't deserve everything that God has. Right. Every yeah. promise that he has. Everything he's laid out. Every single, what is it? What does Pastor say? Um, the insurance policy. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. All of the benefit package. That's right. Who says I don't deserve every That's single right. promise? But that condemnation comes in and then we talk ourselves out wow. of yes. what the word of God says. Right. And it's gonna and it's gonna take faith to understand. It's gonna take me using my faith to be able to operate in the Word of God. Amen. Faith without a corresponding action is dead, right? Yes. So my corresponding action is if somebody says that who qualified me, my response should be God qualified. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. God did. That's right. Amen. Who said you should be here? God said I should God be here. God said I should be here. That's right. God said. Amen. God said. I was listening to a song on the way here, and it says, it, the song is called Accepted, and the line of the song goes, I have this, I, I'm at the seat of the, I'm at the seat of the table because I know who I am. I have a seat at the table because I know who I am, right. and that I'm loved by you. Amen. Because, of, because I know that I'm loved by you, that is how I know I'm supposed to be here. Amen. Amen. If I know, if you know God loves you, that means you know you're supposed to be here. Right. Right. If you know how much He gave up so that He, so that we, how much He gave. When the Bible says that He gave His only begotten Son, He gave His only begotten Son so that we, so that we could be here and have a seat at the table. Yes. That means whatever room you go into. So when you go to work, you the one. Whatever, whatever office you in, you the one. You're the one at the table. I don't care who's sitting at the head of the board table. You're at the head because he, because he put you there. He put you in that space. I'm telling you, when you receive God's full love, the way that love is supposed to be acted right. out and walked right. out in real life, you're going to look a little different. Right. Right. You're going to walk a little different. Amen. Amen. You're going to respond a little different because you know who you are. Right. Amen. Amen. Not who they say I am, Amen. but I know who I am right. in Christ Jesus. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. So who is there to condemn me? Somebody said, who's going to condemn me? <laughs> well, Christ, who died, or rather who was raised from the dead, who was at the right hand of God, actually pleading as he intercedes for us, who shall ever separate us from Christ's love? Nothing shall suffering and affliction and tribulation? No. Or calamity and distress? No. Or persecution or hunger or destitution or peril or sword? No. Nothing. Amen. So none of those things, even though you might be fighting it every single day, and the Bible says we're going to have tri trials, tribulation, and there's going to be enough. There's enough stuff going on today for me to be con for me to be concerned about, for me not even to think about tomorrow. But I need to know that no matter what, nothing is going to separate me no. from God's love. Amen. So that means if 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 I'm going through a trial right now, there's still nothing that separates me no. from God's love. Amen. 
which means I got to walk in that confidence that I know that I'm loved by God. When you know that you're loved by someone, you walk different. Amen. Yes. When you know that you, you, you act different, yes. you respond to things differently. When you know you have a covering, yes. Yes. when you know that somebody got your back, yes. you walk different. Yes. Stay with me. Amen. That's right. You walk into the space, they would be together. That's right. Yes. And what I'm saying to you is you always got somebody with you no matter right. what space you walk right. into. Yes. He, he with me. He with yes. me. That's right. That's yes. Amen. That's right. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He with me. Yes. Amen. Amen. When you walk, let me tell you something. When I, I I'm a, I'm a, I'll give you some practicality. Well, okay. Been married 20, 26, what is it, 26 years, right? That's right. When I am out in the public with the men's in my life, okay? <laughs> I've got three. Well, there's four of them, so the first one is the father. Okay? That's right. He's not here, but it's okay. Because if I don't say it, then he might be listening. <laughs> okay? The father, that is the doctor, that is the Robert approach. Okay? But when I'm out with the men in my life, I am at rest. I am not concerned about my surroundings. I'm not concerned about who I speak to. I'm not concerned about who um, comes up to me because no one's going to come up to me because they got to get through that first. Right. I know that's yeah. right. I know that's right. Covered. Yeah. Yeah. You walk different. Yeah. Right. Amen. I'm walking easily, walking down the street. Even the other, recently, Jordan, God bless him, the youngest. Yeah. <laughs> Even him. I'm standing on the outside. He, push, he pushes me and stands on the outside of the street. Amen. Just like his father taught him. Amen. Just like my dad did when I was a kid. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, right. So you walk different when you know someone's got you. Right. When you know that you have a cover. When you know that you have protection. Right. I remember somebody asked me the other day. They were like, well, when you go here and you do here. And I was like, well, I don't put myself, put myself in certain situations when I know I don't have my peoples with me. Right. 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 If I don't got, if we are, you are, oh, no one ever had those situations before when you getting into it with somebody, getting into it. I don't know who you think you're talking to. Where my girls at? <laughs> right. If my girls not here, we ain't. Right. We real, we, we more quiet. But when, I, when we know we got a backup, we get loud. Amen. Yeah, nothing thing. Right. Tell me what you want to say. Right. It's very easy. You know you got people. Who knows when you got people with you and you get bold? Yes. Yes. This is my point. Yes. When I got, when I know I, when somebody got my back, I got a whole lot yes. to say. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. A whole lot to say. Yes. Say something. That's right. Please. Yes. Please say something. Because yes. yes. you don't know who with me. Right. <laughs> Please don't. Just don't do it. But we walk different. We know we do. And that's what I'm saying as a, as, as a child of God, we have to walk into every space knowing who is with me. That's right. That's right. Amen. Say something. So when they say that you're unqualified, we're you're qualified. like, wait a second. Okay. You don't see? Amen. Oh, you don't see him? Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. You don't. Yeah. Well, if you don't see him, it's all right. I see him. Right? And I know who's right. here. Yeah. Right. right. Just Amen. making sure we're clear on that. Yes. Right. Amen. Oh my God. Even as it is written, for thy sake we are put to death all the day long. We are we are regarded and counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet amid, amid all these things, we are more than conquerors yes. and gain a surpassing victory through him who what? Loved us. Yes. Say he loves me. He loves, he loves me. me. God loves me. Yes. Yes. He loves me even when I am a whole mess. Amen. He loves me. Amen. He loves me no matter what. No matter what. No matter what. Amen. For I am persuaded beyond.
beyond a doubt ensure that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor things impending and threatening nor things to come nor powers nor height nor depth nor anything else in all creation is there anything left nothing and all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So there is nothing that separates me from his love. Nothing at all. Nothing I can do, nothing I've done ever that will separate me from his love. And once, you, and once we have decided to tap into the love of God, I will tell you things are going to change. They change. Um, earlier this week, my body was under attack, and I was asleep a lot. And I had a whole lot of dreams, okay? Everybody had a lot of dreams when you sleep? Yeah. Yeah. I sleep a lot, I had a lot of dreams. So the other night, I got woken up, and I was dreaming, and as soon as I dreamt, sorry, so I was dreaming, as soon as I woke up, I remember what I dreamt, and it was only just one line that I could remember. And I'm standing there, and I'm talking to someone. <coughs> And I'm, first I was watching her, and I'm watching her from a distance, and I could see how she's interacting with people, and this woman, and she's like, there was just like this glow on her, right? Like, like, you know, you knew something was different. And I'm looking at her, and I'm like, what is going on? So I walk over to her, and she sees me, we make eye contact, and we make eye contact, and she grins. And I, and I, and, and I grin back at her, and she was like, it looks different, right? And I'm like, what do you, I was like, what do you mean? She's like, it looks different. She goes, I, she goes, I, I used to always need, but now I'm whole. Amen. Okay. Amen. Now I'm whole. Yes. And I, and all I wrote down, and I woke up in the middle of the night, and I wrote it down on my phone. I was like, I used to need, I used to need so much, but now I'm whole and I look different. Amen. Amen. And being made whole is significant. Right. I want to give you guys some definitions that I looked up on whole, oh, okay. which in, which is also a part of God loves. And if you were going to title this, it would be abiding in the love of God is what makes us whole. Amen. So if I give you some definitions, first made is defined as assured success. That's number one. We can take that and just go home all day. Yeah. Amen. Assured success. Would you say success is good or bad? Good. It's good, right? Yeah. Who wants to be successful? Amen. Who wants an insurance policy that I am going to be successful at right. all things? Amen. This right here, when we say we are made whole, mm. that means assured success. And let's talk about some definitions. To be whole is to be perfect or mature. Amen. Entire, intact. Meaning not lacking or faulty in any particular area. Somebody, somebody yeah. help me. Amen. Come on. Come on. Amen. Not lacking in any particular area. So that means wherever I am lacking, then that means there is an area for me to grow and to be and to be made whole. Yeah. If I am made whole, I am not lacking in anything. Yeah. Nothing. In nothing. 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 Not in my finances, not in my marriage, not in my job, right. not with my children. I am lacking in no nothing. particular thing. Right. Nothing. nothing. Whatever it is you believe in God for, you're not lacking in that area. Amen. Because I've been made whole. Yes. I've been made whole. Somebody say, I've been made whole. I've been made whole. Perfect implies that the soundness and the excellence of every part. I am, somebody say I'm excellent in every part. I'm excellent, excellent in every part. part. Somebody Amen. better receive it this morning. Amen. 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 Paul suggests a, complete list, a, a, a completelessness or perfection that can be sought, gained, or regained. Somebody say regained. Regained. That means if you lost it, I can get it back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 Hold me, hold me that if I lost it, I can get it back. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody better catch it this morning. Yeah. Hold me as if I lost it, I can get it back. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 
It implies retention of maturity or perfection of a thing in its natural or origin state. It says free of wound or injury, free of wound or and to be whole is to be free of wound or injury. Free. Somebody said liberated. Liberated. Not bound, liberated from all hurts. From all wounds, yes. from all injury, yes. because I'm whole. Somebody say I'm whole. I'm whole. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Jesus. Yeah. Somebody say restored. Restored. I put two hands up. Some restored. Restored. Amen. To be whole means I've been restored. Yeah. Yes. Restored. Somebody receive Thank it this you. morning. Amen. Restored. Thank you. How about this? To be whole is to be free of defect. Amen. Thank you. Yes. Amen. Free of defects. Now, how many know sometimes people will be like, um, so she, she ain't right. <laughs> or maybe a little defective. But to be free of defect or impairment, to be intact, physically sound and healthy, free of disease or deformity, to be mentally or emotionally sound. Yes. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. To be mentally or emotionally sound is to be whole. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Right there. Now, we know the fight that is currently plaguing the world mm -hmm. on mental health. Mm -hmm. yeah. But to be whole is to be completely mentally and emotionally sound. Yeah. Amen. And in my right mind. Right. Amen. 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 If I believe that God loves me, I need to believe that I'm whole. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's right. And I got to use my faith to know that I'm whole. Right. To know that I'm restored. Mm -hmm. To know that I am mentally or emotionally sound. So these are the promises. Now, God said that if you love him, you're going to keep his commandments. So right. if, I, if I'm going to be whole, I'm com I am keeping his commandments. Amen. Whatever his word says. Amen. For me to be whole is to be come into a place of maturity. Yes. Amen. Which means I have to grow up. Yes. Which means I can't just think about myself. Which means I need to think about my lineage. Which means right. I need to think about the generations that are coming after me. Not just in my physical, <laughs> meaning my children that I bore out of myself, but also all of the children of God that are in the, on this planet. Amen. Amen. More than. Not just me. If I, if I want to be whole. Now, I have to walk in wholeness in order for people to see my light shine. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Have to. Have to. Have to receive the gift of wholeness. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I do not receive the gift of wholeness, my light is not going to shine as brightly as it needs to because I need things to be manifested in my life. Amen. Like restoration. Yes. Amen. Like being emotionally and physically sound. Right. Yes. Amen. Amen. Another definition for whole, having all its proper parts and components. So that means nothing missing, nothing broken. All the right pieces. Sometimes you're like, well, God, I don't have this. And God, I'm, I need that. Or how am I going to make this happen? You have all the parts. Yes. Amen. Yeah, you're right. Amen. All the parts that are needed are already living on the inside of you. Wow. Every great seed that he planted on the inside of you is already there and yeah. is already growing. You have all the parts. Yeah. Have you ever put something together before and you said, oh, my gosh, I'm yes. missing a part? Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yep. It's a little off-centered, or maybe we didn't have, we was missing a screw, we yeah. used something else. Anybody ever missing parts before you put something together? Amen. How many, but the Bible says that there are no missing parts. Amen. Amen. No missing parts. To do what he's called you to do, there's nothing missing. You have no missing parts. So whatever left you, you didn't need it. If I have no missing parts, whatever job I had before, I didn't need that. Because I have no missing parts. Whatever family member that was in my life that decided to walk away, guess what? I didn't need them anyway because I had no missing parts. I have no missing parts. Because I'm whole. I'm whole. I have no missing parts. Oh, I should have went to that school. No missing parts. Oh, I should have said yes to the dress. No missing parts. No missing parts. Nothing. Somebody say, I'm whole. I'm whole. Yes. Yes, Jesus. Unbroken, uncut. 
heart is to be whole. Anybody ever been cut before? I've been cut. I've been cut. It took a little while to heal from that cut. But it's alright because I'm whole. A complete amount or sum or totality lacking no part or member. The Bible says that we have members, right? So in Romans chapter 12, it says, um, beseech thee, therefore, brethren, that I will make a living sacrifice, bringing all my members, right? Which means all, every single part of who I am. I know that I'm a body, I have a body, I have, I'm a spirit, I live in a body, I possess a soul. All my parts, all right. my members are right. exactly where they need to be. Amen. To do all that God has called me to do. Amen. That's right. Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Something constituting or, or a complex unity, a coherent system of organization. So how many, so if you think you disorganize, oh, hold on, if you think you're disorganized uh -huh. or all over the place or a little scattered, right. the Bible says to be whole is to be organized. Amen. Well, Amen. Amen. Well, let's go. Yes. Sometimes organization don't look the same to everybody. Right. 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 That's right. It don't look the same to everybody. Right. All right. Organization is supposed to be however you're created and designed to be. Your organization might look different from my organization. Right. Right. The way my brain operates is it might not be the same way that your brain operates. Right. Right. But the Bible says here to be whole is to have it a complex unity of a coherent system of organizations of parts fitting or working together as one. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Working together as one. These are definitions for whole. Yeah. So when I'm saying I'm whole, it is not just a small word. I'm giving you every single benefit that wholeness is. It's a big word. It's a big word. It's a big word. Benefit package. Amen. Somebody better catch it. And the last thing I have here says that wholeness is to the full or entire extent. In view of all the circumstances or conditions in all things considered. Amen. Amen. Which means no matter what it looked like. Right. No matter what it feel like, what it smell like, what it tastes like, somebody say, I'm still whole. I'm still, I'm still whole. whole. Amen. That's right. Amen. I'm still whole. Let's look at what the Bible says about wholeness and some examples of wholeness. And then we're going to go back to his love. Uh, Jesus. When I say that it's important, and the reason why I'm starting with love primarily is because in order for you to know who you really are, actually, let's not even do that. Let's not look at made whole. Because y'all know by faith, our faith made, our, made us whole. I'm going to um, go to 1 John <coughs> chapter 4. 1 John chapter 4. Somebody say, I'm whole. I'm whole. So, and the reason why it's important to know that you're whole is because the attacks that come from the enemy are the opposite yeah. of right. every promise that we just right. looked at. Every definition that we just expanded that word whole, the enemy fires back with other things. Yeah. And typically what he fires back with are that I'm incomplete. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. That I'm imperfect, even right. though I am perfect. Right. I am cut, and I, even though I know that I've been healed from every cut and every wound. I, that, and uh, the enemy will come back with, well, you're sick, you're diseased, you're unhealthy, you're weak, you're unfit, feeble, unsound, um, unwell, weakened. This is what he comes, this is what right. he fights you with. Yeah. Yeah. And the opposite to what he fights us with is the, is, the, is the knowing that we are whole. But the only way that you're going to know that you're whole is it says that your faith has made you what? Whole. whole. So I cannot diminish faith. I have to operate in faith knowing. And, and a lot of times faith is motivated by love. Because when I know that someone Amen. loves me, then that means I'm going to have faith enough to believe and hope enough right. to believe that what the word of God says is right. true. Amen. That I am whole. Yes. 
But if I don't feel deserving of love, that's why the first commandment is love thyself as I am. Love, right. love, love God love and love myself as right. I love my neighbor. So right. love is important. Yes, it because is. if I don't believe that I'm loved, then I'm not going to believe I'm worthy of being whole. Right. It's the lifeblood. Yeah. It it's the motivator. Yeah. Love motivates me to want to operate in faith. Amen. Love motivates me to want to show up for other people. Yeah. Love motivates me to want to be all that God has created me to be. Yeah. Because when I know God is with me and God loves me, then I'm going to be confident enough to walk in my purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And my purpose Amen. is not just to be... My purpose, my main purpose... Is to be everything that he's called me to be. Amen. That's my purpose. Yes, That's my calling. Yes. Everything he's called me to do, every gift he's right. put in me, every whatever it is that he's put on the inside of you, that is your purpose. That is your calling. Amen. That is the thing that you were put on this planet to do. That is the hole you were meant to fill. Amen. That's right. Amen. But, I, but you got to be whole to do it. Right. Amen. When the enemy comes back with you with, oh my gosh, you you know, you run down, you bad, mm. you ain't worthy, you ain't you're malnourished or incomplete, you know those are tricks of the enemy. Right. Yes. You don't deserve that. Amen. You don't deserve to be blessed. You don't deserve to have more. You don't deserve to have every promise that God has put aside for each every child of God. You don't deserve it because you messed up too bad. Mm. This is what he says to me. Maybe it's just me. Because that's how he comes from my mind. Right. That's how he comes from my heart. Right. You're undeserving. Right. That is how he comes. Amen. And it, and I have to not look or listen or even act on those negative thoughts, but I have to act on what the word of God says. Amen. And that's how my faith is put into action. Right. Amen. Okay. Amen. Amen. Let's talk about God a little bit more and how much he loves us. So let's start chapter four, right? I said first John. Yeah. We're gonna start at verse um Verse 12. Actually, no. Nope, we're going to start at verse 7. Beloved, we're at, reading out of the Amplified Version. Let us love one another, for love is springs from God. And he who loves his fellow men is begotten, born of God, and is coming progressively to know and understand God, which means the more I love other people, the more I can see how much God loves Amen. me. Amen. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Which, which doesn't seem like, you're like, what do you mean? But when you show up in love in people's life, that's how, that's how you abide in God's love. Amen. Amen. Oh my gosh. Amen. God is coming progressively to know and understand God, to, to perceive and recognize and get a better and clearer knowledge of him. Somebody say, I need to get clearer. I need to get clearer. And have a better knowledge of him. Amen. He who does not love has not become acquainted with God. Come somebody here. Amen. 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 So if I'm keeping all the love for myself yeah. <laughs> and then not giving love and right. showing love to all the people on the planet, whether right. they love me back or not, Amen. then that means I do not know God or I'm not acquainted with him. Right. Does not ne did does not and never did please hear me. <laughs> does not and never did know him. Hmm. For God is love. Amen. Nine. In this the love of God was made manifest and displayed where he, where we are concerned and that God sent his son, the only begotten or unique son, into the world so that we might live through him. Mm -hmm. In this is love. Amen. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the appropriation for the atoning sacrifice for our, for our sins. Amen. Number 11, beloved. If God loved us so very much, we also ought to what? Love one another. Amen. So if I'm up in, if I'm up in here acting stank towards people, is that showing God's love? No. no. 
And let me tell you, we know what real love uh, is. Love is not butterflies, touchy-feely. Love suffers long, it changes not. Love believes all things, hopes all things. Yeah. Meaning when we are loving someone, we're loving somebody according to what the love, word of God says love is. Amen. I'm not showing up in this kind of wishy-washy, oh, sometimes I'm going to act, some kind, I'm gonna act fine, and sometimes I'm not. Or if you nice to me, I'll be nice to right. you. No, I got to show up in love every single time. Right. Right. Amen. Every single time. Every single time. Every single time. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> 12. No man has at any time yet seen God, but if we love one another, God abides. There's that word again, abides. God abides, lives, and remains in us. So that means to love other people helps me to abide in God. So God is, the love of God is a motivator. Yeah. It's a motivator. So the more I show up in love and to love somebody, even though they're acting crazy towards me, that means I'm going to be more acquainted with God. Yeah. And then, and then the result of being more acquainted with God and abiding in Him is I'm going to be more bold and more confident and more mature in every area of my life. I can't use somebody hear it. Amen. 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 Yeah. When you show, this is how we show up different. Yeah. Right. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Jesus. Yeah. 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 No man has at any time yet seen God, but if we love one another, God abides and lives and remains in us. Remember those words we talked about, what wholeness looked like? Yeah. That was, those are some of those words Amen. that we Amen. talked about. So me remaining in God and abiding in God and becoming perfect in God or more mature in God is a result of wholeness. Amen. Amen. Somebody get it. Amen. <laughs> God abides, lives, and remains in us. And his love, that love which is essentially his, is brought to completion to its full what? Maturity runs its full course and is what? Perfected where? In us. It's made mature in me. Every time I show up in love, it's made more mature in me. Amen. 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 Jesus. So, if I don't want to be whole, mm -hmm. is it fair to say I probably don't need to love nobody? Right. Mm -hmm. True. Right. Wow. Wow. That's true. That's That's true. Yeah. I probably don't have to. And listen, I tell you all the time, I believe I'm an island of one. <laughs> yeah. In my perfect world, yeah, right. I don't need nobody. Right. That, that part. I don't want. I don't even want nobody. Right. Come on now. I'm good. Okay. Okay. Yes. I'm fine. Yes. I'm an island. She up here. It's just me, and I'm living my best life. Yes. In my head. Yeah. Right. 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 But how many know we don't live on an island of one? Uh, no. Amen. We don't. Yeah. We don't. So therefore, if I want to be completely whole, I'm gonna have to love some other people, which means I gotta let other people on the island. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. My population got to increase. Right. Amen. Because right. <laughs> right. it's easy, but all I gotta think about is me. Right. The people who are single, bless your hearts. Bless your heart. And if you have no children, bless your Glory. <laughs> because that is the island of one. That is, yeah. that is the closest yeah. you're going to get. And they said if you really want to give all of God yourself, <laughs> if you really want to give it all to him, <laughs> then, then go ahead and use your gift to be called to be by yourself. Okay. Because yeah. that's the closest you're going to get. Yeah, that's the closest. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But how do we know even there, you still got to influence the people around you? Right. right. That part. Yes, you do. And That's you're still called to it. Yeah. Yes. Period. Because no matter what, you're still called to love. Right. right. <laughs> yes. Amen. It's a fruit of the Spirit. Love. Yes. yes. 
And not love my kind of way, love God's kind of way. Which means I gotta love you anyway. Imparted to us his Holy Spirit. His Holy Spirit. Somebody say his Holy Spirit. How many know his Holy Spirit is important? Amen. Having the Holy Spirit live on the inside of you is important. Yes, yes it is. Amen. Jesus, help us. Yes, it is. 14. And besides, we ourselves have seen, have de deliberately and steadfastly <coughs> contemplated and bear witness that the Father has sent the Son and the Savior to the world of the world. Anyone who confesses acknowledges, owns that Jesus is the Son of God, abides, here we go again, there's that word, lives and makes his home, makes his home, mm -hmm. Jesus. Amen. Amen. So abide is to make your home in him. That's a nice place to be. Yeah. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. It sure is. Yeah. Not my home, not making my home in my own thoughts, not making my home in someone else's reality, but making my home in God. Amen. To abide in him. Period. Yes. Yeah. To make your home in him. Somebody say, I'm going to make my home in him. I'm going to make my home, home in him. him. And, a, and, a, and a beautiful thing about that is he's made his home in us. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 God is not a one-sided God. No, no. He's he's sure he sure is. Just, he just, he's Thank not. God. He's yeah. not. It's always a give and take, yeah, man. Is. It always yeah, is. Sure is. It always sure is. is. There's no, he's never going to outgive us. He, if we show up for him, he shows up for us. Yeah, he's greater. Yeah, sure Every, 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 yeah. yeah. Every time. He shows up for us. Every time. He tells us to, if, I, if he abides in me and I abide in him, he knows He, he knows we need each other. Yeah. That's why it says he's a partner in our labor with us. Yeah. Yeah. With us. With us. Remember I said you talk different, you act different when you yeah, got your people right. with you. That's right. true. Yeah. That's true. Amen. That's Jesus. Well. Sixteen. And we know, understand, recognize, are conscious of by observation and by experience. Somebody say experience. experience. I have to experience God's love. And we've all experienced the love of God. Yeah, we sure have. Amen. In some cases, love has literally been like a miracle. And you're like, I don't know how in the world this happened to me. And how did these things line up the way that they did? And all you felt was literally just God, his loving arms wrapped around you, cradling you. Amen. You, well, we've all experienced his love. Where you know you, when we knew we were supposed to not be there, we knew. We know he wasn't supposed to go, and we went anyway. He still had us covered with those wings. No, he wasn't supposed to go. I'm telling you, when you know how much he loves you, it, the world is different. The world is different. When you're whole, the world is different. When you're walking around knowing you complete, the world is different. When you walk around knowing that you've been qualified, the world is different. There is no, there is nothing that is impossible. Nothing that's impossible. And we know, understand, recognize, 16, are conscious of by observation and experience and believe, adhere to, and put faith in, and rely on the love God cherishes for us. Which means I have to have faith that God loves me. Amen. That's right. That's right. Yep. That's right. That's right. That's yep. Yep. He loves me. Yes, he does. Yes. Yes. Amen. Jesus. Period. I have to have faith that God loves me. Amen. Yes. No matter what. No matter what. No matter what. That's right. Those of us who have children, is there anything that your child could do? No. Nothing. Nothing. Right. Nothing. 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 Everybody could get it. Everybody. 
that part. Anybody. Anybody. Yeah. I don't care who you are. It does not matter. I can care less. I can care less. Right. I remember my mom, Mama Bear. You didn't want to stick with Tanya on anything. If you put Tanya in the action, or whatever it is, she gonna get to, she gonna get to the bottom of the case. Amen. Okay. She gonna get to the bottom of it. She gonna solve it and make you cry. Yeah, she sure is. Too. Amen. I'm just sorry. I remember this bus driver. I probably told y'all this story before. This bus driver was acting some type of way with all the certain kids on the bus. Yeah. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Us is the us is. Okay. Amen. And there were only a few of us in this particular neighborhood on that bus. And the bus driver was acting some type of way. She wanted us to only sit in the front, right behind her. Couldn't and had our only our seats were designated. Everyone else could sit wherever they wanted. Right. And I went home and told my mother, child. My mother came to the bus stop yeah. <laughs> with her robe on. Uh -huh. she, she was on. Right. Got on the bus, on the bus. She was and gave her the whole situation. Because <laughs> <laughs> mama was on the case. Amen. She was. She was yeah. on the case mm -hmm. because, because we were not being treated fairly. Right. Exactly. That's right. She wasn't having it. Amen. I remember there was a teacher at my school acting up. Acting up. Acting up. I went home. Who I, who I, who I tell? I told my mother. Right. Yeah. And guess who was on the case? You're right. Yes. 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 Well, Tanya gets on the case. Yeah. Yes. She made the teacher cry. She made the bus driver cry. That part. Amen. <laughs> Because she don't play. Don't play. How many know God don't play about us like that neither? Right. He don't play. He don't play about me. He don't play. Somebody say, He don't play about me. He don't play about me. That's how much He loves me. He don't play about us. Amen. Jesus. He don't play. Thank you, Lord. God don't play. 17. In this union and communion and communion with him, love is brought to completion and attains perfection with us, that we may have confidence for the day of judgment. See, being confident means that you know that even though I might not be fully perfected, I still got I'm still confident enough to come boldly to the throne of grace. Right. That's, right. Right. That's right. Amen. That's right. There's no fear. No fear. That's right. No condemnation. None. That's because I know he loves me. Yeah. Like I said, is there anything your child could do? Right. Nothing. Amen. Just like my mother came up and got on the bus. Is there anything that we could do that's going to stop her from coming on the bus? Right. Nothing. 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 I don't care if, if we just had, she just fussed us out. Guess who's getting on the bus still? Your mom. Let's go. Because I'm complete. 
complete and made perfect. That's wholeness. That's soundness. Right. That's nothing missing, nothing broken. Ooh. Amen. Somebody catch it? Yes. <laughs> Love turns fear out of doors and expels every trace of terror. Yes. Yes. Who ever been ter terrorized before? Amen. Yeah. Some of us have had literal terrorists living with us. Yes. Yeah. Being terrorized. Yes. Every day. Every day. With no with no respite. Right. Yes. With no with no space. Right. With no no space to even be. No. Right. To even think. Jesus. Amen. For fear brings with it the thought of punishment, and and that's and that's exactly what happens. And so he who is afraid has not reached the full maturity of love is not yet grown into love's complete perfection. We love him because what? He, he first loved, loved us. Amen. He first loved us. We love him because what? He first, he first loved, loved me. Amen. He first Thank loved me. He first loved me. Yes. And guess what? He already knew what I was going to do. Right. He sure when I did, did it. Yeah. Amen. He sure and he still knows what I'm going to do tomorrow. Right. He sure in 10 did. years from now. Right. Right. He sure 20 does. years from now. 50 years from now. He, he knows. Know. Yeah. And guess what? He still loves me. Yeah. First. first. Right. So guess who initiated the love? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's right. So what's my Very job good. to do? To receive love. it. Yep. My first job is to receive his love. Yeah. After I receive his love, then I can love somebody else. Right. Right. Yeah. Amen. And the more I love someone else, the more I abide in his love. His love. Amen. And the more I love somebody else, the more I abide in his love. And the more I love someone else, the more I abide in his love and in his presence. Amen. It's a give and take. Yes, it's a win-win situation. Yeah, it sure is. It's a wholeness. It's a completion. It's a nothing missing, nothing broken. It's a maturity. Yes, it is. It's being set apart. Yes, it sure is. Amen. Come on, let's give glory to God this morning. We're out of time. church and ministry loves you. Um, we are so thankful that you come every single Wednesday and Sunday to support our ministry, not only financially, but also by showing up and, and attending our live broadcast. Um, you guys have a blessed day, and we'll see you next time. Woo!